All right, out looking for old home sites again. This is actually day two of this site, and you're about to see some pretty cool stuff. But I wanted to kind of show you what I saw that made me stop. What I saw is right there, there's just a little berm. And so it made me get out and walk over there. And it ended up being a trash pit. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But I only have an hour and a half till dark, so I need to see what else I can get. Okay, so I found, hopefully, an old home site up here in the mountains. I found a couple of trash pits, that's all I can find. Here's the first target other than two rifle shells. I've only been here just a couple minutes. And this looks like some sort of printing plate. And of course it's backwards, so I can't really read it right this second. Maybe we'll try to print something later and see what it says. But I think it does say large regional service on the top. So that's awesome. It's a good sign. Let's see what else we can get. Oh, we might be onto something, guys. Look at this. Second target, it's a it's a top to a purse. Looks like, like a coin purse. Amazing. That was only a 15. I hate to try to open it. Of course, my curiosity wants to see if it still works. Awesome. Let's see what else we can get. Okay, same hole as the purse. I think I have a little another little piece of uh, printing plate. I think this is really looking up, guys. This might really be a nice set here. Hopefully it's not too windy. I do have a windsock on my camera, but excuse the wind, guys. Lamp part. <laughs> so, this has only been a few minutes, guys. This is just good target after good target. I think we're really in a sweet spot. More printing plate. <laughs> Watch part. Man, I might have a whole page by the time I'm done with this. Look at that, another big chunk of printing plate. So I'm finding so much, I'm probably not gonna show you that many more unless they're really cool. Maybe I'll just show you at the end. But yeah, it's like a whole, <laughs> a whole printing press fell apart right here or something. I don't know, it's crazy. Like you can see that huge A on there. Okay, there's a big weird brass part. You bet you know what that one is? Not exactly sure what that is, but it looks like maybe a fancy suspender clip or oh, something fancy, that's for sure. All right, so I got me a buckle. Oh, it even still works. Look at that. That was ringing up good. That was a 25, so that's got to be a nice brass or something. Sweet. Well, there's my first button. It does appear to have some sort of design on it, but it is not coming out right now. That was a very scratchy sound. Maybe that was like a 12 or a 13. All right, I think I got a coin. Oh no, it's another, it's another watch gear. All right. Well, at least we're still on to stuff. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering, yeah, still pulling pieces of that printing plate. There's a big old chunk. Holy cow. Another button says Ward Brand. That was coming up at 10. So I don't know if that's... Yeah, that's fancy. I don't know if it's off a stove or if that's a dog... What do they call it? A dog iron in the fireplace. What do I got here? Looks like I might have me a little ring. How crazy is that? That is not a ring. It looked like it had a little piece of leather crimped in there that went all across it. I don't know what that was. Maybe you know. Well, looks like some little buckle of some kind. I've never dug one that style before. Maybe it's not a buckle. Let me know. All right, another nice brass buckle. 
that one actually looks like it uh, used to be plated. Look at that fancy thing. That looks like it used to be gold plated or something. I wonder what that was. Fancy. Hope you guys are picking up the detail on that. That thing's really cool. Well, I think I got me a pocket watch cover there. Nice. Never fails, guys. Harmonica read. Well, I'm pretty convinced I have a home site here. <laughs> I, think I think I found just about everything you need to find. So, all right, let's get something cool. Coin or thimble, croto bell, something. Not that we haven't got cool stuff already, but man, I'm kind of excited to show you guys how much printing plate I have. You know how normally you would dig a <laughs> bottle caps or pull tabs of the park. That's what it's like around here with the printing plate. Well, that looks like a really fancy top to maybe some lipstick or something. Okay, now that is amazing. Are you guys seeing this? Look, it's a brooch. How amazing is that? Oh, that thing is so cool. Huh, let me clean that sucker up. Yeah, I think it's actually some sort of buckle. I thought it was a brooch, but I think this was just kind of broke and moved to the side. Yeah, I don't know. Man, that's beautiful though. What do you think of that, guys? There we go, that's kind of neat. Closed horseshoe. Well, that's a little one. Well, should we try a live dig? I got a 2829 right on top. But I'd sure like this to be something cool. I <laughs> think it's a coin. Nope. What is that? Oh, piece of spoon handle. All right. Cool. Some more fancy. That is the top to something. I don't know if it's like top to a lantern or a lamp. Maybe a um, gas valve, something. <laughs> now that one sounded terrible. That was just a seven, but more fancy uh, silverware. Look at that. Well, what a beautiful night, guys. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to come back. So I think there'll be a day two on this one. Gunner likes to run home. <laughs> He's gonna be one tired kid. Yeah, so here's the pit. You can see all that rusty stuff down in there. A little garbage pile. So that's what got me to dig here. Turns out there's two other pits. And maybe another one over here to the left. We'll have to check it out. All right, well, that was my first thing on day two, really, to show you. I'm kind of trying some spots kind of outside the zone a little bit. So I hit kind of the best zone really hard. But it looks like we got something off of like a wood burning stove or something there. Very nice. Well, big old clock part. Couple gears. That sure sounded pretty. Button. I think it says the tootle. Well, there's a harmonica reed. I think it's my second one at this site. Horseshoe. Boom. Well, <laughs> this is right on top, but I did pull on it a little bit. Wow. That is a pretty cool spoon. Looks like it was definitely a uh, plated at one point. Very nice. Well, 
It's getting real dark, but that is a different another piece of printing plate. Okay, let's check out what we got. I found so many clock parts and watch parts. Um, yeah, some of it might be like a like a clock, and some of it's pocket pocket watch stuff. Uh, lamp part. I think that might be another lamp part. Uh, harmonica reed. You got some fancy stuff here. Not sure. Buckles. Um, some spoons. That's a really nice spoon. I think, other than the printing plates, this is probably the the find of the trip. Uh, I do like the little coin purse top too. I don't think I've ever found one of those before. But look at all the printing plates, guys. I uh, did a little graphite on some of them so I could try to read them. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I uh, took a picture of some of the graphite ones, and then of course they're reversed. So I flipped the picture digitally, and I'm just gonna have some stills of a few of them. So if you guys are interested in reading what's on them, then uh, go ahead and pause it and check it out. Anyway, it's just amazing. If you saw <laughs> where I found these, you'd be like, "Who the heck is printing stuff out here?" So I think this is pretty unique finds. I don't know. The thing that kind of trips me out is like that they're making whole plates, you know, it's not like typeset. I'm not really sure why they were doing that um, and how they were doing that. I mean, it just seems like that would not be cost effective at all. But anyways, kind of a cool little spot. I think it's just about, you know, hunted out. I didn't find as much on the second day, that's for sure. Um, I'm sure I'll go back again and give it another shot maybe bring some help but yeah those plates are awesome anyways thanks for watching guys